Hi students, preparing for your NEET examination. Here is the session. We are going to talk about the shape of molecules with a lot of animations. The shape of the molecule decided by the number of electron pairs present on the central atom and hybridization. So, how a shape of the molecule is decided based on the number of bonded atoms, number of bond pairs of electrons and number of lone pairs of electrons. Let us go ahead with the shape of the molecules with a beautiful animations. Stay tuned. Here is the shape of a molecule with the central atom is shown here. If it is with uh, a two bond pairs, let us say I want to add one bond pair and a uh, two bond pairs. This is going to be a linear molecule. Whenever it is a linear molecule, you can just see 180 degrees. This 180 degrees bond angle, you can see the kind of examples beryllium chloride where you are going to see. The beryllium chloride undergo sp2 hybridization so whenever sp hybridization it is going to be a beryllium you can assume it is and a chlorine and a chlorine the shape of the molecule is going to be linear and it is sp hybridization with no lone pairs of electron it is going to be a linear shape moving ahead sp2 hybridization it should have steric number three it will be trigonal planar geometry and this trigonal planar geometry with three bonded atoms you can say like BF3 you are going to see beryllium fluoride or beryllium trichloride you are going to have steric number three you can say this is a boron chlorine and chlorine and chlorine beryllium chloride trigonal planar geometry with one, 120 degrees instead if you have one lone pair of electron Here it is one bond pair, two bond pairs and a lone pair of electron. With this you are going to see angular in shape because lone pair repulsion and bond pair repulsion. Central atom A, two bond pairs, one lone pair will have a bent shape because of the lone pair repulsion on bond pair. And if you have Four bond pairs of electron, it will be having tetrahedral geometry. So, one bond pair, two bond pairs, three bond pairs and four bond pairs. You are going to see sp3 hybridization and it is going to have tetrahedral in shape. In this tetrahedral, you are going to have exactly 109.5 degrees and the shape of the molecule for this is going to be tetrahedral example you can say CH4 is an example, CCL4 is an example, SACL4 is an example. In the other case, if the molecule has a steric number 4 can have 3 bond pairs and 1 lone pair. I can have 3 bond pairs over here and 1 lone pair over here. I can expect the shape as a pyramidal in shape. And ammonia is going to have this kind of pyramidal in shape, nitrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen and the lone pair of electron. A, B, 2, E. A is a central atom, three bond pairs and one lone pair. You are going to have a pyramidal in shape. If it is ammonia, it is going to have 107.5. Whenever you have a steric number with only bond pairs or regular bond angles are same. If it has a lone pair of electron, it will be having an abnormal bond angle. For sp3 hybridization, if you have two bond pairs and a combination of two lone pairs, you can say bond pairs are two and the two lone pairs are there. You can say again bent in shape. You can say bent in shape and water will have the same shape like this. So A, B, 2 and A2. It is going to be angular, V shape or bent. Example H2O and this is the combination for sp3 hybridization. And if it is has sp, if the molecule has AB5 type, you are going to see A, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. I am going to see a trigonal bipyramidal and geometry. So, you can see this is you going to be trigonal bipyramidal and geometry. So, it is a trigonal shape and above the trigonal you are going to see a pyramid and below the trigonal shape you are going to see another pyramid. Two pyramids are there among above the triangle and below the triangle this is going to be 
trigonal bipyramidal geometry pcl5 is an example for this in this sp3d hybridization instead of one bond pair if you introduce one lone pair you are going to see a shape like this this shape is called as c sha shape and it is going to be sf4 is an example for this sulfur tetrafluoride it is going to be sulfur here a lone pair and the four fluorines is going to be c sha shape you can see molecular geometry and electron geometry and if you have in the sp3d hybridization instead of a b3 e2 you will be having a b3 e2 you will be having again a shape like this it's a t shape c l f3 will have the same shape a b3 and e2 c l f3 b r f3 comes under and this bond shape is going to be t shape the bond angle that you can see is slightly less than 90 degrees because of this bond pair repulsion on lone pair and moving ahead instead of one bond bond pair i just want to show you one more lone pair on this so i want to say a b2 e3 in this a b2 e3 you can say absolutely linear in shape x e f2 comes under this x e f and f and you will be having three lone pairs of electron and the molecular geometry is going to be here electron geometry trigonal bipyramidal and the molecular shape is going to be linear like that you can just use any kind of tools that are available in the internet and you can just go ahead with these shapes of the molecules and the shape of the molecule based on that in the neat examination you will be having an outstanding questions definitely you can just do this based on this number of lone pairs of electrons number of bond pairs of electrons one can predict the molecular geometry and the molecular geometry is different from and the shape of the molecule molecular geometry and the electron geometry is nothing but the total steric number and the shape of the molecule is decided based on only bond pair of electron hope you like this session and please share with your friends and subscribe to infinity land neat youtube channel thank you